Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Somshikar and back with the CAN controller concept of concept. Let's start with the definition of the CAN controller. What is CAN controller or uh, any controller? So I would like to define it as a controller means the controller can be something that interfaces between the two system and manages communication between them. As you can see in this slide, I have given the definition of the CAN controller. So what does it mean? Let us understand with a simple example. Let's say body control module or BCM is the interface between the light control switch and the headlight. So using light control switch, we are going to control the headlight. I mean turning on and off of the headlight. So how the BCM is acting as a interface between the light control switch and headlight. Let's say here BCM interface means what um, medium between the two devices here the two devices are light control switch and headlight the medium or the interface is BCM here the BCM processes the signals coming from the light control switch accordingly it controls the light thus the BCM is acting as a interface between the light control switch and the headlight we can say it I hope everybody understood the definition of the CAN controller now coming to the types of controller or here we are also going to understand in this video how we can choose the appropriate controller controller to our applications or in automotive network let me tell you there are three types of controller in a can first one is part A part B and part C you can see in this slide I have given here part A, part B and part C. Part A is also called it as a 2.0A. That means it supports only 11 bit identifier format of CAN frame format. Coming to the part B, part B we can also call it as a 2.0B passive and we will see what does it mean 2.0B passive means. And coming to the part C, the third one 2.0B active this also we will be understanding in next slide now let's understand about part A part B and part C can chip type or the controller type let's start with part A as you can see in this table part A so here we are going to understand the which frame format will be supported by part A part B and part C accordingly they are divided into part A, part B 2.0B passive and part B, uh, part C 2.0B active depending on these require, uh, uh, sorry, depending on these points we can choose the appropriate controller required for our application as you can see in this table part A, the 11 bit identity for in if you choose part A controller to your application so it can support only 11 bit identifier CAN frame format so if you want to send if you are if you want to communicate with the 29 bit identifier it throws an error that means it it cannot handle the 29 bit identifier CAN frame formats at all so that's what part A now coming to the part B as you can see in this table the 11 bit identifier frame format is supported that means it can send and transmit but if you come to the 29 bit identifier frame format as I already said can 2.0 be pass you part B means this is the reason I said part B is the can 2.0 be pass you that means it can send and receive 11 bit identifier format but coming to the 29 bit identifier it can tolerate that means if you are trying to send 29 bit identifier through this it can tolerate it will not give any error but these frames will be ignored by part B CAN chip type or the CAN controller but coming to the part C both as you can see in this slide 11 bit identifier and 29 bit identifier you both the frame formats you can send and receive so I hope all of you understood that now how to choose the CAN controller type 
For queries, please leave comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, Secrets of Automotive Industry, and hit thumbs up. Thank you all.